Hello, I'm Alvin from Hensel AMS and I like to introduce you into our concept of customer data infrastructure. Actually, we call it customer data infrastructure and insights, CDI2. Let's jump in it. What is the goal with the CDI2? In terms of a tracking system, currently mainly systems are based on Google Analytics and sample data. The goal is to have a full data system with event tracking as a foundation. Data collection. Currently, often a lot of manual data crunching. The goal is to have everything automated with API connections to all platforms. Data visualization. Currently, GA or platform UIs, a lot of Google Sheets, Excel. We want to have like one dashboard and reporting system combining all data sources. Cross-channel evaluation, especially for budget allocation. Currently, often based on gut feeling and last click attribution. We want to have data-driven attribution model as a source of truth. Automated usage of attribution results, currently not often the case. Goal is, yes, we want it. Users within the organization understanding multi-channel e-commerce, very often it's only the e-com manager and the BI analyst. But the desired goal is to have it across the company from C-level, e-com manager, marketing specialist and BI analyst. So you can see the components of your data strategy are actually forming kind of like a pyramid. The ground layer is the event tracking. That is the foundation of all the data which needs to get into the system. The second layer is to have a robust data system. Then it's to have a layer of visualization and allowing like the exploration of the data. And the last layer is the algorithmic solutions which makes in smart use with AI tools of your data to serve you. Let's jump into CDI2. Here you see the complete schema of the CDI2. Let me first remind you that this CDI2 is running on your infrastructure. So it's running on your Amazon AWS account or Google GCP account or Microsoft Azure account. Let's go over the components from left to right. The core input is of course the event tracking. So all events which happen on web and app or server side are pushed into the cloud. Next, we have the API connections to all third-party platforms, so Facebook, Google Ads, TikTok, Snapchat, etc. Via the APIs, we're downloading all the uh, metrics like costs, etc. to have a good view what happens in these platforms. The big magic happens within your cloud. Here we combine all data with the ETL process, we build the session objects, makes the user matching, builds the customer journeys, makes the attributions and the post-processing. This all fills the customer data warehouse where we have different levels from the lowest customer level up to a level which is like the dashboard database where your dashboard hooks on, for example, Tableau or Power BI, etc. Also, your reporting systems go directly into this customer data warehouse and to give insights to the marketing and sales team. Your BI team can go straight into the database to answer any ad hoc questions you might have in no time. Also, your data science team can use this data to develop smart AI algorithms. All right, let's see what makes up the CDI2. First component is event tracking. That is of course crucial to have a good understanding what are the customer interactions. Here we usually roll out with our clients now a client-side tracking, so which happens in the browser and uh, the app, but also a server-side tracking. So especially in ITP times, we can have like a much higher data quality by having both sides, client-side and server-side. API connections. We have the API connection to all the major platforms and the goal is to download daily or hourly all the performance data from the different platforms. Mainly it's interesting for costs so that we can really align all costs per platform with the events which are happening on the user level. Next part, the traffic parsing and the ETL process. So here we align all the tracking data of the individual customers with the marketing platform data. So we build the session objects, we pass all the traffic information like the UTMs and all the other uh, traffic tags, we align it with the information from the API, so what was really the cost of the session, passing all events out, all product views, etc. Next component, user matching. Very important in times of like ITP. So uh, here we have an algorithm which takes multiple 
um, parameter into account, for example, IP, login IDs, email IDs, multiple cookies, etc., and calculates what cookie IDs, what user IDs are actually belonging to the same user, so that we have a good understanding what is a real customer journey of a user and not just parts of it. Next part, attribution. So we have the full customer journeys of all the interactions, all sessions of a customer on the way to make the conversion. With the attribution, we want to calculate what impact did each of the touch points made that the customer converted, bought something in the end. We typically use our IHC attribution model, which helps you to gain insights of what touch point help you in which interaction phase. Last but not least, post-processing. Here we have like two main tasks. One is the automated upload of the attribution results via the API to third-party platforms. Usually we do this for Google Ads and Facebook. Second task is to aggregate the customer session level data into databases where you would put your reporting or dashboard system on, for example, to Tableau, Power BI, or Looker. Okay, let's jump into the CDI2 and I want to give you some example insights what you can obtain when you have your own CDI2. So basically from the user perspective or the BI person, CDI2 means you have a data warehouse where you can zoom in into customers at different aggregation levels or uh, on any other dimension level. So here let's zoom in into one customer and let's see what his customer journey on the sessions are. So we see here all sessions. So this customer had so far 39 sessions. We see uh, by which traffic the customer came to the site. So here, for example, the Google Ads uh, ad group with the CPC, what we had there, but also brand, email, and non-brand email, etc. We have per session some metadata, like how many pages, how many detail page views, checkout pages, was the customer signed in, what are the click IDs of this traffic here. By the way, we have up to 12 dimensions, which describes the traffic, so not just channel and campaign. So we have all UTMs and up to uh, all custom parameters, how you define the traffic. Uh, very important is, of course, the user matching, what we had before. So here we have an example where we could match the one cookie ID with 16 other cookie IDs based on some criteria. So in the end, 17 cookie IDs make up one real user. So here some are matched based on the custom ID, so the login ID, but also based on e-tag IP with certain probability. So here we know we need the 17 cookies and their session to describe the full customer journey of the one user. And this, of course, gets plugged in into the attribution. Let's zoom into this customer here. And here we have now the attribution results per session. Again, I only show you the channel level, but with the CPC at this moment and the attribution results, the initializer, holder, and closer respective phases, but also the joint IHC attribution. And here you can see what the attribution is and align it with the costs. Very interesting also this example. Here it's for a customer who is like a car leasing platform and their end customer who came by the, to the site was coming via a social ad for a Maserati. And he came to the site, compared to Maserati, but then he was like going to a BMW and then going down to Volkswagen Polo. So in, uh, in the end, he was even converting with the Volkswagen Polo. So this insight is, of course, crucial for any marketing and product team to understand which products like are attractive to get the first interest of customers, but what are they comparing and what are actually the products what are they ending up buying. These insights you can only obtain with the CDI2 system where you have all the customer individual interaction data combined and very fast uh, there for any analysis. So I hope you like our approach uh, to customer data infrastructure. If you find it interesting, please get in touch with us. Happy to talk to you further. Bye.